It'll keep, it, come on, it should be capturing. Uh, ahoy, everyone. There we go. <laughs> ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. Uh, I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... First Mate Drakir at your service. And yeah, we're doing a late stream, but hopefully this shouldn't take too long. Uh, anyways, welcome back to Zanzara, the Hidden Portal. We are the last time, well, we, we got really freaking annoyed with the fire card guardians. Uh, but luckily, I can claim to have beaten the little shits. Uh, it should be here somewhere among the items. There we go. Fairy card of fire, which, well, we can't actively use. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, I've been leveling up some, <laughs> some other fairies. I've mostly been using uh, golden carrots and just otherwise grinding in the... Uh, the light fairy area, which is pretty useful. It, uh, aside from light fairies, there's also uh, energy fairies there, or at least Dorbieu is. Nothing else I ran into there. But uh, yeah, with uh, levels 40 to 50, that was a pretty uh, good place to grind up. And yeah, even with these levels, it, I still almost lost when I took on the, 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 the damn fairies. <clears throat> but yeah. Now that we have the fire cards, we are first off going to place Drakir up front. And then we're going Arr. to Monogam. So we can go and find ourselves a, a damn Pix a, a fairy. Because, yeah, that, that skeleton in the Shadow Room wants to, well, is holding the key to the last area hostage behind seeing one of those damn little things. Which I have to say is a rather annoying thing to have to do. It, it's more, it's more like something you'd expect from side content. Like, if you show me this, I'll open up this door. It's not something you expect in the freaking last area of the game. Yeah, I and agree I just, with you there. And I just realized I did a stupid because I forgot that we have to cross the air eddies here. So, back to London it is. Okay. Maybe it'd be more... Hmm. If I were to remake this game, I'd probably make it so that if you have a, an air fairy, even if it is just in your collection here, that you should be able to use the effects of the cards and not have to carry one with you because, yeah, it takes up a slot and you, with five you're already limited. Okay. Luria, you can replace Grease Luck because I very much doubt that an ice fairy is going to do well in a bloody volcano. Okay. Yeah, I can attack for that as well. Okay. Uh, we should be able to finish the game in this stream. Uh, I'm guessing in with, within an hour and a half or so. Uh, I looked up a, a walkthrough just to be sure how much of the game was left, and there isn't too much. Uh, I hope it'll still take around an hour. But... Yeah, it shouldn't take two, at least. Else unless things yeah. go wacky again. Yeah, we, I was wondering, I was suggesting to Hillian that uh, if the game takes longer than two hours, we probably should do a short Minecraft instead. Yeah. But now we... Okay. Oh, full love of... <laughs> yes, I think you know what, what I just reacted to. What, uh, her f <laughs> the way she sounded there? I, 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 I thought you did a dum dum again about to jump into the lava by mistake. Nope. Okay, and well, now we can get into this area without getting roasted. Or toasted, as the game called it. <laughs> nope. Okay, but we will need to keep our fire fairy up front. And. Hmm. Yeah, this is probably one of the weaker this evolution designs because it's just a bloody recolor. They go from red to brown. Uh, so they did change the... Uh, the sails. Tail. Yeah, the tail has sails now. That's still a rather weak design, I will openly admit there. And, yeah, it should be easy to guess. Water beats fire. As long as water doesn't hit itself, that is. 
Okay. But yeah, we are looking for a Pix Ferry in the volcano. Should be pretty easy to find since it's the first in its line of evolution. And yeah, once we have that, we can go back to the Shadow Realm and give that stupid skeleton... <laughs> yeah, not really give it, it just show it. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're... Okay, this way we can head. We'll have to jump over the lava. Uh, I can. We can probably walk that, but I'd rather not burn <laughs> Amy's shoes off. <laughs> That's oh just for easy swapping. Uh, also, there is something we learned uh, between last time, and that is that this chart here has one flaw in it. Uh, as we saw last stream, metal is indeed good against uh, strong against light, but for some reason in my physical example of it, and this one here, it's shown as them being ineffective against them, which, well, is an error. To my knowledge, that is the only error in it, though. Oh, this, <laughs> this looks pretty awesome, I'd have to say. <laughs> We, we've seen this arena before, just... It is a one... Yep. Impressive reskin. Yep. So... Maybe it's just me, but it gives a bit of a feel of spiraling down into a, into a volcano's maw. Yeah. I, I do you. like that. <laughs> I do like that most types get a redesign on the areas, even if it's just a reskin. Yeah, again, nothing wrong with reskins, and as long as there's a reason behind it. I, I know some people in Total Warhammer 3 community were angry that many units were reskins in recent uh, thingy, but... What the heck do they expect of Chaos Warriors? New a bit must you expect them to have entire new animations. Here's our target. Uh, on some degree it does make sense, but on the other it would be a lot of work. Yep, there we go. To reskin an entire faction or a good part of an entire faction for each four or, or five possible, uh, well, sub-factions. Yeah, but reskin is probably faster than to do entire remodeling for animation and attack moves. Yeah, when there's already so damn many in that game. Yeah, so I support the reskin. At least they made them look more unique and more detailed in other ways, so I'm not a complain. Yeah. Well, uh, we have what we came for, but <clears throat> just for the show of it, let's actually take a bit of a look around the place and see what else we can find here probably just loot and such but we might find something of interest and okay this yeah this is definitely the, i'm going to this definitely the my favorite of the uh type skins i'd say for the arenas you want your birth cake birthday cake to look like this <laughs> i wouldn't mind but the, the first thing i first think of when i saw this was birthday cake yeah like a uh, one of those uh, chocolates, uh, chocolate cakes. I know there is like something it. some do that to have to add like a, a red something that looks like lava, in a way. Oh, I forgot what that's called. But I, I do know the chili chocolate. Probably something like that. And it seems that we've already explored most of this area uh, since we're it just is. circling. Like I said, chili chocolate is not red. I eaten it. Okay. It is tasty, but yeah, be careful. For I, yeah. I tried them. They say several of them in different power volumes, basically. I learned to be careful which one I pick. Uh, I'm guessing it. I'm guessing they vary in uh, how hot they are. It, more of Spiciness. Like, yeah. all right, you take one, you're fine. Then the second bite, mm, all right, 
<laughs> and that's bad little so, shit just threw everything in the flow of <laughs> Okay. We've already gone here, so let's just check what this path leads to, if anything. That's the and fire belly yeah. ogre. These are these are probably the longest spawn or longest aggro ranges on these spawn points so far. <laughs> it takes them several seconds to even get there. There we go. I'm not one of those people that owns a lot of ground. You know, yeah, land actually, owners. In in a way, yeah, you could say that all of these fairies are just. Uh, 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 come on. <laughs> Just frustrated <laughs> landowners <laughs> uh, pissed with people trespassing. Yeah, this one makes you look at it. And bloody. Just because you say, you describe of them as a the of a volcano, I can't stop thinking of ogres for Warhammer. Okay. Uh, the, the ogres have two gods. Oh, crap. The mob. And the fire mob. And the fire mob is literally a volcano. And they think it's the son of the mob. Okay. And from there, they, they have a special magic class called the fire bellies. These are ogres that can drink lava. They throw fire magic. Uh, of course. And yes, I... many ogres die from uh, the training. Yeah, another one of these. So, um, let's be honest. You need a very strong stomach to be able to drink lava. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think I've bought War Total Warhammer 3 yet. I'll probably buy it at some point on sale. And wait, now we're back. Okay, okay I thought this was the way that it was different, but okay. Uh. Yeah, we've got our picks, we've got this place explored, so let's head home. Uh, now we lost what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, Something right. about the skeleton in a closet? No. Uh, I'll probably buy Total Warhammer 3 on sale. Uh, because I, I don't think I have it yet. Uh... But I do hear a lot from you, especially, that the ogres are a lot of fun to play. Yeah, do I mostly play like Kislev and Cafe, for those I found most fun to play with at the moment. Ogres are a bit fun too, but... The problem with ogres, I know, is if you really want to enjoy them, you have to listen to a certain song I linked to you a few times in the past. Okay, I think I remember that one, yeah. Um, let's see. Yep, there you are, Freeze Lock. You can go and play Sylvian. It's probably one of the few songs I can almost remember the lyrics on top of my head. <laughs> almost. Okay. Now, we should just be able to head through that gate there. And hello, Noon. And well, that explain <laughs> that shows that the chat has been fixed now. I don't get why it, I don't get why it broke previously, but oh well, it's fixed it, now. Hilia, you said you knew what it, why it broke uh, last time. Uh, I knew why the chatty program that I had used on the side, why that was broken, and that was because uh, yeah, the, oh, I forgot it. I forgot uh, I forgot to change my username in that. Uh, from Helion to Captain Helion, so that this lost boy. Why this one above here broke? I don't know. But it seems to have fixed itself all the same. Yep, and yes, Noon, you're a very helpful goat fairy. What a yeah. carrot. What is that? What is that? Is that a cat? A cat with a, a either a muffin or a wheel of cheese. Why would you stuff a cat in a wheel of cheese? <laughs> a heart. 
Wait, why do you stuff a cat in a heart? <laughs> Oop. Controls reversed. Mm. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Almost fell off. Who uh, is holding a heart? Okay, okay, I get ya. It's holding the heart of his enemies to consume. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, so welcome, Noon. <laughs> Thank you for joining. We are in the oh, end game wait. of this game, and I think we went the wrong way. For a moment, I thought all the codes were to Mitch the Bridge on both sides. <laughs> Mitch the Bridge? <laughs> okay, yes. that's a line. <laughs> Miss the Bridge. Miss the Bridge. Mitch the Bridge. Uh, yeah, you are not getting, you are not hearing the end of that one. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't... <laughs> it, it sounded like you said Mitch the Bridge, not Miss. <laughs> oh. Well, I probably need some water. Okay. Uh, yeah, there, there shouldn't be too much left in the game. We just need to show this pix to the... Uh, the skeleton, he'll give us the key for the last gate uh, in return, and from there it should be only a few fights until the ending of the game. I just uh -oh. need to find the black. I just need to find the blasted and <laughs> the skeleton first. And yeah. I probably should have stocked. I really should have stocked up on garlic atomizers. Yeah, and um, Hillian, if you look over your head, you will see your fan club has arrived. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, a heart attack. Oh, that's many heart attacks! There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, just going to do a quick little thing with Oceana here. Uh, oh, wait, I can't. Okay. I. I thought you could swap out the spells basically everywhere, but apparently not. Huh. Wait. Am I in the lineup, correct? Uh, no, I swapped the picks out for you because fire... Uh, there he is. The fire... Uh -oh. <clears throat> fire isn't too effective against uh, chaos fairies and such. Okay, there you are. You oddly human skeleton in a world that shouldn't have any humans left. <laughs> Picks, yes. If anything, hang on. It's flying along behind you. Great. Oh, uh, how I envy you. Here, take this, take this strange key. I'd love to give you more, but the key is all I have. Pick is really wonderful to look at. And there we have it. The last of the bone keys. And we can just <laughs> zip right back to the center. Hmm. Question is... Actually, yeah, I'll go... We'll, we'll zap back to London real quick. Swap uh, the picks out for you again, or for your avatar. And Yay! then we'll head for the end game. Carnage! And okay. uh, bloody heck, just because we talked about Warhammer 3, now I'm this damn song stuck in my head again. <laughs> okay, Shadow Realm. Uh, where do we keep the barrels? Below deck. Good for very thirsty. I'm gonna drink one like an ogre. May, you, you may want to have the mop ready. Okay, final door. There should still be a few more fights here, especially one quote-unquote boss fight. But nothing that we shouldn't be able to handle now with uh, Fairy State Orange below level 30. Okay. Uh, hmm. Alright, it has auto save. I almost forgot that. I want to say, tell you to probably save just in case. Oh, hello there. Vulcan! Uh, there. 
Look at Finch! Still one short from uh, the next reward, but uh, I don't think we get much of uh, worth. Probably only at uh, 25 or 30 that we'd get something worthwhile again. And I was going to say, it's a bit odd that we haven't been attacked yet, but then, then, the, then we hit upon this here, where we can summon one, but uh, let's not. Actually, I'm going to move Bonaria up more. Actually, just put her way up front. She and Oceana have been our go-to pair for most of the uh, Dark Fairies. And the, mm. fairy, the first fairy we started with? Yep. Uh, it would make sense to have her to the very end. But otherwise, it would be a bit odd to not have the fairy you start with to the end. We're just gonna feel weird. <laughs> Amy does her little dance in midair again, and <laughs> immediately... <laughs> okay, I, I can't help but think that that was completely by design. And yes, I really need to put on a user freaking mana potion on Oceana. Uh, is this a new arena? No. Nope. We've seen this one plenty of times. Oh, alright. Uh, oh, come on, it hit me. It hit me with the no charge spell. There we go. Be rid of it, then use a mana potion, and then we continue on. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a smart idea. And I'm gonna grab another glass of water. Yeah, that might be the last level at the. Come on, you stupid. I was right into the abyss. Okay. Mana. And these crystal. Hmm. Oh, there's a golden sphere there. Okay. Um, quickly before that tips us over completely. Yep. Actually, we don't really need to go get this thing because it is just an extra Pokeball. <clears throat> and also, I've ha I have, con oh, damn it, self hit again. I have confirmed it. Managed to confirm it that uh, if you wound a fairy enough and uh, don't capture them, uh, <clears throat> that they will f try to flee if if there is an escape point. Okay, why was the <laughs> why was that noise there? Okay. Uh, what, what noise? It was the the no mana noise for some reason. Oh, I thought you were like to be coughing. Nope. Oh, no one right, wrote something. Yeah, the yeah. amount of fairies being blasted is worrying. I agree with you, Noon. I agree with you. Yeah, we blasted plenty of them over the course of this... Ooh, I almost fell off over the course of this game. And suddenly I remember a very old meme. Mm hmm? Yeah, suddenly I started blasting. <laughs> Something like that. Team Rocket blast off again. <laughs> uh, and I think, like... Of all memes, things that came from my childhood, I think I actually quickly grew, grew annoyed with that phrase. Okay, and this is one of the reasons why we have Breeze Lock. Yep, and immediately we get... Uh, not locked in place, but almost. Okay. Yeah. Derbyu and Bioelectra are the... Well, two of the four energy fairies in the game, they both have an evolution, and I think we've seen both of them. We've Libio and another. I, for, I forget what Bioelectra's Bi uh, evolution is called, unless she is the evolution. I did not follow. 
Okay. You, you said they had a oversight or an error about the metal fairy. Yeah. Obviously, there's another you forgot them out. And that be? That the mobs are throwing bags and coins off cliffs. Yeah, that's been in the game since the, its release. And okay, yeah, that's why it feel it's... like an oversight. How did I burn through that, that much mana already? Hmm. Badly cost? I don't think so. Maybe the dark fairies have a spell that can drain mana or something. Not possible. Hmm. Okay. Let's check over here. And actually, just screw you. Okay. <laughs> he said screw you right back. Uh, okay. Just moving on. Yeah, there wasn't there anything there anyways. And here comes the next. The amount of spawn points has really gone up in this area, but... That is to be expected in the end of the game. Yeah, kinda. Uh, yeah, after this, uh, we should be able to confront the white druid and, well, <laughs> do whatever needs to be doing with the guard. <laughs> Metal fairy, watch out for the shredding and headbang attack. Thank you for the nightmare for your noon. And also, I don't know how I was there, but am I pronouncing the name right? Noon? Or is it Noin? Noon? Yeah, I've always pronounced it as Noon. How will you pronounce it, Noon? Uh, oh, wait. Right, uh, 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 we which one of us is pronouncing it correctly? Noon, I should probably ask, since we can't hear you. We can only read you. Hmm. What's with those spires? Okay. Okay, so I guess... Uh... Nuin. Nuin. Okay. Oh, a pep. What are you doing right. up there? Hey, what the? And also, no, you you use root Swedish. <laughs> you root Swedish for now one. Still got that. Okay, just. The fuck are you doing up there? Are you sure you wanna ask? Uh, is he just acting as a scout or something? Yep. Can you buy Electra oh, yeah. again? Don't oh, you notice? He, he's trying to have a Batman moment. <laughs> oh, it's French! Alright! Okay. Yep, miss. There we go. All right, so noon is the correct way to say, but I'll yeah. probably just fall back to noon. <laughs> I'm trying to say noon. 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 Actually, now, now that I see it, it sounds a bit like I think one of the. Uh, I think one of the units in Age of Mythology said something sim says something similar if you click them often enough. I think it's the uh, Egyptian workers or something. <laughs> and it's our little Napoleon complex again. <laughs> Prepare for your last fight. You'll never escape this trap. Our dark fairies will easily destroy yours. I think that's supposed to be more Shadow Elves spawning in, but uh, 
Yeah, they're fucking cheating. That's a fucking bunch of them. Amnis? Where does you even come from? You Are you part of this Sarah line or something? Maybe? Okay. Anyways, we have Dark Fairies, we have Chaos Fairies, we have one Nature Fairy, one Water Fairy, and two Fire Fairies. We're going to be needing to be careful here. And let's start as Oceana. She can just take out the Dark and Fire Fairies near instantly. So we're oh, 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 hello. oh, no, it's... Okay, that, I see now what it is. So it's not multiple, it's two of... They're fighting us two at a time. With they're dump teaming up on us. Double teaming. That's what I mean. I choose a simple name for Lorpe is to remember right on. Alright, that makes sense. That makes sense. So when you separate them like that, you accidentally write in Swedish. I miss. Nope, they swapped, so we swap as well. Okay. Right. Nu means now, in means, well, in, like, get in. Uh, water fairy nature should be normal against these. Okay, just focus the dragon and, oh, we're, we're being slowed again. Okay. Just gotta keep this up and deal with them before before we get out. Uh, yeah, before they outlast us. Okay, where? There. And I hit myself, of course. Okay. Uh, well, let's see how well <laughs> Gigarex does here then against nature. He should be very good. Uh, someone is... Okay, that one. The water fairy is not... Uh, no, the Gigarex is not effective against water, but ice should be. Uh, no. Come on. Oceana's out, so I think fire is good against... Maybe not. Good against one of these, at least. Okay, good against fire, but not against dark. We might need to redo this uh, fight. Uh, Holy word, it's gonna be a repeat of the fire fairy fight. Or the, uh, it's the fight less, the fire card. Yeah, it, at the very least, it's against less at the same time. There we go, took out a good bunch before. Oh, that's a fire fairy, so that's, of course, not going to do well. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think... I, th I think we're going to lose this, but if they keep a similar build, uh, we should be able to... Yeah, we should be able to beat them. Yeah, this is a loss. <laughs> okay. At, at the very least, it is a lot less worse than I actually expected. Since it's just two at a time instead of five at the same time. Oh, bloody heck. Uh, what the heck is that emoji? I don't have a clue, and I have a, I have a larger size, and I still can't tell. It looks like a, something cute holding something red. The amount of content in this game. Uh, it isn't too much. It's not an open world uh, game like you have today, but there is still a good amount. Like, each of these spires or arenas has a reskin. Uh, it is only a reskin for nearly every berry type, but it, it's still... It still offers a good amount of variety, and of course, every single coin goes into the abyss. <laughs> Nope, three didn't. Okay, uh... 
Now, which was this way? Should be forward? Yep, because I see our little twerp there. I'm not interested in another of you now. Okay. So, yeah, with the, <laughs> the many camera shots was more meant to be some sort of surprise thing instead of uh, more spawning in all over the place. Okay. Just refill everyone. I hope I don't have to go for a refill on healing potions, but, well, we have plenty of these, even if we run out of the big ones. Okay, he's... he has a Manox or one of that line up front, so let's... let's start with Oceana, and actually, that explains why that one is up there. He's part of the ambush. Yeah, see? You can see the fairy move over. All right, so that, that's the exact same lineup. Okay, that's going to make things easier. Just got to focus yeah. down the ones that we are effective against. Razro in a seg bus, easy enough to swat. There's got to be yeah, careful when they retreat like that. Okay, now it's... Oh. They both swapped. But they both swapped to one... To a type vulnerable against water. So not very good thinking on their behalf. Oh. Now they both swapped again. If they were smart, they'd swap to... They'd swap to types that weren't... Uh, didn't share weakness. No, you still gotta hit him. Oop. Okay. Um, I forget if. Okay. I, I know they swapped. Okay. Uh. Oh, I, I, some. What is hurting it super effectively? That it. Oh. I forgot it was Oceana, not Bonaria, like I thought I was. That, that's cost me some, but not too much. Okay, now back to Oceana. I just gotta keep focus on when they're swapping out. If I don't miss that, I should be okay. And another swap time. Igorek should be effective against both of, both, both of these jokers. And if not, then at least normal against the Chaos Fairies. Okay, just focus you. There, another one gone. Hmm. I'll have to be careful of those burns. Some of them seem to be dishing out. Actually, that was a bad idea because that's... Okay, now they do... Now they do have... Oh, a lineup that actually covers two weaknesses. Or isn't co doesn't share weakness. Well, they were. <laughs> All fits were up there at the same time. Okay. Uh, where's the Manox? Yep. <laughs> that was the Chaos Fairy. Oh, and... The f okay, if... No. Nope. Okay, now it's just down to one. Uh, I forget what... I, I think Oceana is our only strong one against this guy. But we should be able to outlast him still. I say as we take like 100 damage and deal only 40. Ineffective. So. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, there he is. Bonary is dead because of that. Okay. Oh, that, uh, that was a trade. That was a trade. We can still do this. Just 
Okay. Just gotta dodge some shots. Mm. Come on. There we go. And done. Now it's just a sag boss. And we out heal. We have a lot more health. And there we go. Okay, that got a bit more, <laughs> that got a bit closer than I wanted, but we, yeah. but we got through it. <laughs> Soul Survivor, the druid help us, who can stop her now? <laughs> okay, that was a bit overblown. What the heck? And now time for... Big heels. <laughs> big heels, a big resort, some massage, some tea, perhaps. There's some like some music. Okay. There should be one more big fight coming. And if my memory serves, it is against a bunch of metal fairies. Wait, what? Yeah, the guard is a mechanical being, so it would make sense that its defenders are also mechanical. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I, for some reason I thought you meant the, the druid where to use them, and what's ne next to you? Yeah, not sure, but <laughs> we've seen them a few times before now. Oh, all right. Yeah, really, the... This big giant stone door just opens with the same sound as. <laughs> okay. Saving, just in case. The Dark Cathedral. Oh, hello. You should not come here, Amy. The Dark Cathedral is the refuge of the Guard, our protector against human scum. Created by me with the help of the ignorant dwarves, he must never be allowed to fall. Forged of iron, brought to life by magic, he watches over the borders between the worlds. Thenceforth, he and his mechanical aids have protected the world of the fairies from you humans. His powers close the great portal, so that no fairy may ever set eyes on the human world. I covered Sanzara with chaos and summoned the Shadow Elves, I could never allow a fairy master to become more powerful than the guard. But the Shadow Elves failed. Now I must destroy you myself. So that's his whole deal with it. That's what's everything behind it. And Okay, not a too impressive a lineup for the greatest guardian or the greatest protector of this realm. Okay. And we start off with area. Okay, I'll need to double check how much of a charge that first spell of Oceana actually has or not. Because she seems to burn through it really freaking fast. I'm, uh, yeah. And also that druid seems to be consumed with the uh, hate for humans. Okay, I. Hmm. I uh, misremembered there. I thought that stone was vulnerable to ice, but no, I think it's Sai and Light are their only weaknesses now when I think about it. So we may have a bit of a problem when when faced with three of the bastards. Uh-oh. Oh, water. So ice. Oh, because <laughs> that just hurts. Oh, oh no. thank you for the memories that noon noon noon. Don't think why to learn that. Thanks to Helium. But yeah, I suddenly seeing that written, I suddenly imagine every time Helium headshots from the fairies here, we have the whole all real tournament and uh, commentary just screaming headshot. I'm kind of surprised they haven't made another of that in a quite a long while, I think. 
And again, I, this, the market is rather saturated with shooters like that. Yeah, and uh, I don't know what the going on with Epic Games. Yeah, they make more money from making and selling uh, engines. Actually, yep. yep. So it would be nice if they remade the Unreal games. At least the ones with the story, at least, so they could be a couple more scary and all. I, I wouldn't mind seeing a Unreal remake. And I swapped over to what should be the poisoning spell. Though I can't seem to be can't seem to get a critical hit for the life of me at the moment. Or wait, actually now that I think about it, I think Bonaria became unable to use the poison spell. Hmm. That might be it. Maybe. Yeah. So, yeah, for now we'll just have to slug it out with uh, the stone fairies. So, how did, how did it hit me there just as I spawned in? Yeah, I just cheats with this. Also, I guess it makes some sense that his the most of his uh, fairies are stone because, well, it, well that one hurt. Uh, his beliefs are set in stone, and he's refusing to move away from them. Yeah. Hmm. You uh, think that water would be effective against stone in this? Since, well, erosion and such. Hmm. <clears throat> So, if a noon here, Drakir, pronounce my name however you want. But are you sure about Ooh. this? Are you sure you want to give me that much power? <laughs> there we go, that is one down. But yeah, are we, think, are we going noon? But it will take a while for me to get used to say that since. Helen keeps saying noon for some reason, but that is... Yeah, why is the eye silent for you? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. You uh, have not realized you made the eye silent? Uh, I, yeah. I've known noon for a bit longer... Or, Quite a bit longer in a non-spoken in a non-spoken way, so yeah, I guess at one point I just got uh, it in my head with afternoon. Oh, wrong. Wait. Okay, that would. <laughs> I almost fell into the abyss because I was hit with Oceana was hit with the no flight spell. That's a miss. It is this one hits quite hard. <laughs> Oh, well, it it did hit quite hard, but not anymore. Just one more hit. There we go. Now, we should be able to just take out the rest of these. And then we're going to heal up everything again. All right. With only one casualty, this could have gone a hell of a lot worse. Yep. <laughs> and of course, quite a bit of experience. <laughs> and Gigarex joins the 40, <laughs> 40 plus club. I despise you and you are cursed fairies. Or lose or much. I'm not beaten yet. While I can still fight, you will never uh, make it to the guards. Uh, extra sore loser. Okay. Wake you up. We might start to run low on healing after all. But it shouldn't be too far back. 
for us to, well, resupply. And we still have plenty of these. Even if it would be annoying to have to drag them over one at a freaking time. Okay, save. And get smacked in the face by a door. Okay, mana potion, we can oh. use that. Big heal. Actually, can we? <laughs> I want to see if we can just ignore him and head straight for the guard. What I was going to say, Trakir, I will give you that power. Even a nickname is fine. Well, I guess I know what I'll be brewing tomorrow. A nickname. Uh, oh, the statue is surrounded by a powerful spell. Okay, then we have doors here. Uh, uh, were those tank the colors around it? Uh, we'll have to double check when we <laughs> get down again. Okay. Um, I hope he doesn't have too many more stone fairies. Because those will be an issue. Also. I think I saw something moving around the corner. You might not be alone in there. But not alone with the white druid. Uh, there. Enough. Two of the little shits, okay. Uh, please bear with me for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> we'll deal with your xenophobic ass in a moment. Rotten Pinch! Oh, it's a light fairy. Okay, that makes sense. Humans and fairy masters, I hate you all. Well, I still have some fight left in me. My magic protects the portals to the guards. Face me in battle, it's the only way you can fulfill your mission. Okay, let me... Ex I, I don't need to double-check what light is vulnerable to. It's metal. Okay, so we have two of these. A Suan, a Leon, a Lion, Turnox, a Demonex, which is the final evolution of Pix. Uh, um. And where's a Speedo, apparently? <laughs> I think I need them, but it looks almost. F they were almost feminine as well. Okay. Is this Gigarax. a Slanesh demon? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay. Gigarex for these two, Oceana for these two, and then Breezelock and finish up the fish. Okay, this should go a hell of a lot easier if we don't get motion sickness. <laughs> I noticed that swap. And wait, did I ever get to heal Gigarex? Uh, light is strong against ice, if I remember, so good thing to swap out beyond just being tough against them. All right. After... Hmm. I don't know if we'll have to fight him another time. Probably not, but there is this thing of uh, rule of three. That most stuff actually happens in three. Okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> uh, oh, no. What else do we have that could be strong? Hmm. Is any new in? Okay. The good fairy search save us. Well, yeah, he, this one doesn't exactly have goat horns, but it does have uh, horns. <laughs> there we go. Then Grease Lock. 
And Hang what on, else? <laughs> there we go. No. Nope. Bad point. Do we have your controls reversed? Okay. Yeah, we got this. It's only the game over. There you are. How, how did we get poisoned? Come on. Just one more good hit. Wasted. Come on. I don't know if how lights and fire interact, but we'll find out in a second. Not enough to kill. There we go. All right, then only the guard should remain now, unless he pulls a third face out of his ass. Okay. And, okay, we're about an hour in now. I was unable to defeat you, Amy. The path to the guard, the protector of Sanzara, lies open before you. When Dwarfmaster Quinlan and I created the guard in the hidden uh, dwarf factory far below the mountains, we argued and went our separate ways. Quinlan regarded the guard as a temporary protector. He believed implicitly in the bond between mankind and the fairies. But the stupid dwarf had never witnessed mankind's deeds with his own eyes. He hadn't been persecuted and killed like the wizards. He hadn't been there when, in, uh, when the very existence of the fairies was denied and the belief in them forbidden. I was left with no other choice than to hold Quinlan captive and with him the wisdom of the dwarves. It was the only way I could protect Nzara and keep the guard alive while his time had run out. You thwarted all my plans. Now you will determine the faith of Nzara in my place. The path of the guard lies open. Uh, okay, those aren't tentacles, but they are part of a... Uh, okay, they are tentacles. <laughs> um... yeah, uh, I, I can't understand the white druid. However... Yeah, he, he's stuck in the past. Yeah. <clears throat> Speaking of stuck, uh, I'm pretty sure at one point we would have been able, or we, we should have been able, to go back to the Realm of Clouds and <laughs> free Quinlan, or no, not Quinlan, uh, to, Queen, uh, to free Lasse, his son, from that bubble that he was trapped in in the White Cathedral. <laughs> Technically, we could still go do that, but I don't think it will actually do anything. Right. We forgot him? <laughs> yep. What the so, heck, Killian? So it doesn't actually tell you that you can go back uh, and free him there, I think. But if we wanted to, we could still go do that. Uh, actually, let's just throw down a save. And... Uh, yeah, shall we go see if we can actually free him and then just load back here? Or shall we just take on the guard? Uh, let's take on the guard for... It doesn't change the story, does it? True. Now, one final time. Some... Actually, there's no real need to give mana to Gigarax. For one, he's down. And we don't In want to the time either. Oceana and Greaselock will carry us in this fight, because I... Uh, what? I say ice and point to the water fairy. Water and ice are effective against metal. So they are our priority at the moment. Just heal them all the way full. And give them one of our few mana potions. And let's see. Metal is effective against nature, so Bonaria actually will have to sit this one out. 
Beyond that, they are strong against light, psi, and fire. So you'll also have to sit this one out. Which means that Gigarex is going to be our fallback, if it comes to it. Shame, really. And with that, one last save. And here we go. We'll be facing a level 60 Gigarex. A level 39 Megari. Uh, a level 39 Minari. Another Gigarex of 49. And a final Minari of level 39 as well. Okay. Here we go. And that's the guard. Oh, oh, I forgot. The guard. I, the guard has his own little guardians with these turrets. Oh, okay. come on. Oh, we can actually target it itself. Okay. And yeah, the, the metal fairy shouldn't be much of a problem. Especially since we're super effective against them and not the other way around. Come on. How many times am I going to hit myself with the stupid spell? Okay, still gonna need to be somewhat careful with our health. Since we can get overwhelmed and... Well, that, that's the mist, that's the legendary guard gone. Okay, low on mana, but we have a backup spell. Okay, okay this is one of the Gigarexes. I'm guessing the level 61, because in overall, Metal Fairies are quite the glass cannons. Okay, come on. No, they're metal cannons. <laughs> they're made of metal. There we go. I don't actually need to collect these coins because we won't have any use for them after. But still. What's up, habits? Yep. <laughs> A, a, pist a single piston is powering this thing. There we go. It's a bit off. Oh. Damn it, with the st stupid spin spell. <laughs> okay. There we go. It is a bit odd that we're not being shown a list of our opponents here. Yeah, I was... And that's that. <laughs> yeah, a bit of an underwhelming uh, ending, don't you think? Kind of. Like, it was surprisingly short, and what the heck am I yeah. seeing here? <laughs> yeah, this is just Amy chilling with uh, one of the dark fairies and a boy. Watching, t watching the TV, which seems to be playing Sunzara trailers. <laughs> uh. But yeah, that was Sunzara: The Hidden Portal. Uh, it's wait. not an amazing game. It's quite far from it. <laughs> uh, I saw something. Yeah. Do you hear the whispers? Yeah, that's the background. That's the background sounds of uh, the dark cathedral continuing. 
Why the heck do they have that as an end credit music? That, that's cre- That makes the yeah. picture more creepier. <laughs> Yeah, I I think it might just be a small glitch but that it's supposed to uh, yeah, play something else or be completely silent because this was the time before the, a lot of effort was put into uh, most games' credits. Oh dear. And a special thanks. And yeah, THQ UK. Okay. Uh, yeah, th this is also far, far before there was anything like uh, post-credits, uh, you know, Easter eggs and such. So, yeah. post credit Easter eggs were extremely rare at that time. Hmm. And to the sound of Karina Garrett, if I remember correctly, that was uh, Zanzara the Hidden Portal. At last, yeah. <laughs> I will admit, I, I, I'm going to keep my eye on that uh, fan remake and see what they do, but I, w I also have to say, I would be extremely interested in knowing what the, uh, what would be after this game, where it's, yeah, magic being reintroduced into a modern London and everything else. Good question, and, oh, sleep when Nguyen... Good night, and see you next time. And, yeah. If I, if it's still up, you, the uh, soundtrack of this game should still be able to be found for free online. Uh, if you Google King Einstein, that's the alias of the composer of the music. Uh, I don't know, or at, at least I don't know if they did music for anything else except for this game. Uh, but yeah, the, what they did make, it's just really good. I, I almost feel like I'm insulting it just talking through this music. It's some good music. So yeah, if, if we try to exit, we just go through the credits again. So let's end it there. Go if, to uh, this. If they ever remake it, they will need to polish the gameplay and improve the story. And they might have some a gold mine. Yeah, it the the core of it is really good. It it does need a lot of polish. And actually, let, whilst we're doing this, let me swap out that ugly white box there for something hopefully a lot better there. Uh, yeah, it does remain one of my favorite games of all time with its flaws and all, but flaws just. Flaws adds to personality of a game, I'd say. It it does make it, it they are annoying, but it does make things stick out more than a, a game that uh, yeah is just average. If that makes any sense. It kinda makes sense. Okay. In the meantime though, uh with Sanzar done. That means we'll have to move on to the next game next time when that we can. Maybe tomorrow. I'll have to well, we'll have to see if nothing gets in the way. Um like a cow yeah. again. Why was a cow on the boat again? Yeah. Okay. Why was a cow <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm completely missing the point here, I think. But uh, yeah, next time we'll get started on another game that uh, I spent quite a lot of time in whilst I was growing up, and a well a franchise I'm still a fan of to this day, save for the first game which I never played for, well it's hard as balls, and uh, because of that we'll be skipping that game specifically. <laughs> Yeah, maybe if I feel like torturing myself, I might try it at some point. But for now, 
uh, next time we'll be streaming Rayman 2 The Great Escape. Yay! And also for now, let's go look for someone to raid. And also I can confirm, the first raid game game was bloody hard, but I have played that one. It's probably the only remake game I have played. Yeah. What's the um... hardest first one? <laughs> Yeah, and there's also the fact that the the, tr the ending of the game is be hidden behind 100% completion. So, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, but when this kid, I mean, you know, this got news of that. Yeah, we gave up instantly. Okay. Even Mother did. And she played it too. Now then, let's see. Nobody I'm too familiar with or know personally is streaming at the moment. Uh, there is Viking Blonde, who is just chatting, but that's what he puts up before he gets into the game that he's actually going to be streaming. So that could be anything. Uh, could be Sea of Thieves, could be one of the games that he's been trying out. So let's take a little bit more of a further look. Uh, let's see. Someone called Lava K Buzz is streaming We Are OFK. I have no idea what that is. We have someone called Yeoden or Yeo, yeah Yeoden streaming Stone Shard, uh, hardcore Merc survival. Okay, so probably a survival game. Uh, someone. I, someone I, I heard of it. Okay. Uh, someone called Halloween forty five forty five streaming Dragon Guard three. Uh, I know, I've heard of the Dragon Guard series, but I can't recall much of it at the moment. I can. I can. I not play them, but I did research them. They are basically... Basically, Dungeons & Dragons just made in Germany. Okay. And speaking of Dungeons & Dragons, uh, the next one is streaming Dungeons, isn't streaming Dungeons & Dragons, but it is uh, streaming something similar. Uh, it's Ilion streaming The Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. So... Oh, dear. I'm... I'm leaning between that one and Yodin with Stone Shards. Which would you prefer that we go to? The one that's either play Dark or the one that's play Stone Shard. Yeah, that's the ones that I picked out. Which of those two? Out of which oh. of those two? <laughs> oh, oh, uh... Let me consult the runes. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You know what? The one with Daggerfall, considering I mean, I'm surprised they get that old game working. There actually is a fan remake or, or fan re-release of it that, that I'd learned of some time ago uh, that works with modern systems. And from what I heard, it is a it is a very it's a hard to get into game, but it's a very impressive game all the same. So go Ooh, to yeah. there. It was name. basically Boulder Skate before Boulder Skate, in a way. There we go. Slash raid and start. So, whilst that is counting down, uh, yeah. Next time, we'll be starting on the Rayman series, intermixing it with other stuff from my early child from, from my childhood, not my early childhood. For, then I, we'd be dealing with the Red Cat games. <laughs> so, I yeah. Rayman 2, then another game with two in the title, then Rayman 3, and so on. For, but for now, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Noon, for hanging around with us. And thank you, as always, Drakir. You're most welcome, Captain, and my friend. <laughs> and, yeah. Until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks. Watch out for Mushroom Men.